First, I have to take this ugly bar off. All right, so this is the painting. Something I've noticed that makes the shower feel so much bigger. We'll see how this goes. All right, so we are in the bathroom. I'm just having my morning cup of mushroom coffee. Um, and we're gonna do a little, a little before. So that when we make the changes, hopefully we can see how much of an impact it's gonna make. All I have is a piece of art and some pegs. I'm thinking it's actually gonna make quite a bit of a difference because currently we have two towels on our ugly silver towel bar, which if you've ever rented before, I'm sure you've seen something like this. Um, and then there was one right here. You can see I removed it. I took off the hardware. It's just hiding and I put it in the back of the, of the cabinet. Obviously we will reattach it one of these days before we leave. The pegs look like this. They are so cool. There's a lot of really, I don't know if you can see because the lighting in here is ugly fluorescence and so it's kind of hard to see, but this is a very rich toned, probably faux wood. I always try to buy walnut, which is what this is. The warm tones, that's just what I gravitate towards. So I have my little drill and a stud finder. Now I would assume there's a stud right here and that is why this is here. So I can't follow this one directly up because it didn't say there was a stud there, but this hand towel is so lightweight, like I don't think I actually have to worry about it. So I have these three. I think I'm gonna put, cause this one looks a tiny bit lighter, the stain on it. I think I'll use these for the big towels and then this one will be for the hand towel. And these are just from Etsy, by the way. I don't think I said, I need a drill bit. You can see which ones I used previously. Can you tell in the camera? I didn't use the anchor because that's like very solid. I think it looks cute. Also, we'll be getting new towels soon. I decided I do want them to match. We just bought like random ones that we thought were kind of cool, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the pegs up. First, I have to take this ugly bar off. Um, I'm just gonna put it in the cabinet. Get out of there! So it can stay hidden inside the cabinet until we move out. I think I am probably gonna have to remove these two. We have to cover something up and get kind of creative, so we'll see. Now we're kind of lucky because we are allowed to put holes in the wall, obviously. Um, if you are not allowed to do that at your apartment, command hooks and stuff are always an option. Now we've used command hooks that are, um, kind of shaped like this, you know, just like the normal plastic hooks that they sell. Um, but this towel kept falling. We did that with this one. Now we probably didn't have like the higher strength, like the higher weight hook. You could potentially paint them. You can buy textured spray paint. I've done that before to make something look like uh, stone or like concrete so that it does look more solid and not like plastic. Now I am going to use the anchors for these. Definitely not a stud. It's a little bit later, but I eventually got one hung. <laughs> and I'm realizing now I can't even see the pretty peg when the towel's on there. This was my first attempt. There is no stud here. I assumed it would be fine because they have their holes here. So I figured it would be fine. I, like I had anchors, I thought it would be okay. It was just in drywall. Too loose, it wasn't gonna work. It was in there, honestly, the peg was in the wall pretty good. Like I don't think it would have just fallen out, but it was slightly loose and it, yeah, it being wiggly like that, I can't do that. I'm not gonna do that. Now we're gonna have to patch that. Maybe I'll just cover it up for now and then have the maintenance crew do it. I also think I like the idea of putting one lower than the other so they're not at exactly the same height. Would that be weird? I think it'll be like more interesting. Okay, so 
Time for the last peg. I'm not using the anchors because it's actually going into a stud this time. It'll be cuter when the towels match. All right, they have officially been hung. Now we gotta make this look cute. So here's the old stuff that I've just brought from the old apartment. I have this really cool piece from, I bought it off Etsy. Supposedly it's hand carved from Bali. I don't know if that's, if there's any way to prove that. I'm gonna have to see what works. I also have this frame. I wanna say it's from like at home or something. Um, and it has this photo of the, oh, I forget what, what it's called. It's a church in Santa Fe, New Mexico. We went a couple summers ago. Um, and so that's a photo that I took on film. Uh, which is why it looks kind of blown out and weird because the sun was behind the church, but I do really love that one. And then we have another like gold frame. Sappho is in here right now. I don't know if I'll keep her in there. There is a little bit of green in it, so I guess it could work. And then I have a big one. I want to say this is probably like an 11 by 14, and this is obviously free to call out. Um, and there is some green in it. Also, I'm done with the black frame, so I could spray paint, but the photo itself could be really cool. I'm sure there's a glare, but like we could put her right there. Also have to move this because this is the wall where the painting is gonna go. All right, so this is the painting. Oh, you know what? This isn't even it. This is a frame for, this is something for the bedroom. That's not it, just kidding. It's this one. So if you watch my moving vlog, you've already seen like a picture of it, but I am very curious to see what it looks like in real life. It has green and pink in it. Okay, so I've had to switch to my phone because the camera died, but I'm loving the green and pink. It's definitely not picking up how rich the colors are in real life. It's much like greener in real life. Well, maybe not much greener, but a little bit greener. So Guillermo, I'm gonna try it. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. It's basically the entire width of the wall. Like I know it's gonna take up a lot of space, obviously. Like the, the point is for it to kind of take up this whole wall. All right. <laughs> oh boy, she's big. She's big, but I knew she was. You're not gonna be able to ignore her, but I think that's a, that's a good thing. That's kind of the point, right? I am going to actually try to do this one properly. We'll see how this goes. Okay, here. I should probably just wait for my boyfriend to come. But what fun would that be? Oh my god. <laughs> no way. <laughs> wow. As soon as you walk in, like anytime you pass by, you'll kind of get a glimpse of it. Okay, it is several days later and this arrived from Amazon. This is the, and I'll put it on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Curved shower rod. When we've stayed in hotels before, something I've noticed that makes the shower, like a standard sized shower feel so much bigger is a curved shower rod, shower curtain rod. We're gonna see if it actually makes a difference or if it's just gonna be a return, because I don't know yet. different because it does require you to actually drill into the wall. Comes with a little Allen wrench. Okay, she's up there and 
she does touch the cabinet. It doesn't actually touch, but it nearly does. I kind of got lucky because I really didn't measure. Day and we are back in the bathroom and we are finally tackling um, Guillermo's little cubby. I am wanting to wallpaper it. I don't even know if I mentioned this yet. I took off the door. His litter box fits in there pretty well. I do like the idea of it not looking like raw wood. So I found this on Amazon. Now this does not look like the color <laughs> that was online. It was literally $6, so like I'm not gonna worry about it. So hopefully this is easy to install. It'll be interesting to see how easy or difficult this is. Oh, it's textured. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, okay. There's the instructions. That's what I need. color but it's still better I think than how light this is because you can just there's more of a contrast okay compared to the back I mean you can see the difference like I feel like it definitely makes it just kind of disappear a little bit so All right, so when we walk in, instead of it being raw, it'll just kind of disappear, hopefully. All right, so it is a couple of days later and two boxes have finally arrived. Um, we've got one from Amazon and one from Zara Home and I think this is it, like this is everything. I'm pretty, pretty pumped about some of the things um, that came. So hopefully this will be like the final stuff and finally move on to the bedroom because oh my gosh, I'm itching to get in there. So let's get into it. The first thing is this acrylic organizer. These are like the most basic things that you can buy. Honestly, you can go to Target, you can go to Walmart. These are like, I don't know, 11 or $12, not expensive at all. I've gotta take this sticker off though because it's gonna irritate me. I almost don't wanna show you guys the drawer and how bad it is. Yeah, right now it's kind of a hot mess. This is a rug pad. So this is something you guys won't even be able to see because it'll be under our rug. Um, but this rug has been slipping and sliding. So let's organize the drawer and then we'll open the Zara home stuff because I'm pretty excited for that stuff. That's like the pretty stuff. The Amazon stuff was like the, the utility style things. Okay, she's all empty. I bought a super shallow one. I think it's only like an inch tall. Definitely essential oils. I'm pretty pleased with that. Okay, I 
realized I never really showed this rug properly. I think it was in like a haul, like a decor haul, a couple videos back. But anyway, it's just from World Market. I was just looking for something that had some green in it, and this definitely does, but also like neutrally kind of color. So it's like brown and green. Um, and it's a cloud pile rug, which is like one of their thicker ones. So I did put the rug pad underneath just to keep it from slipping. It is super soft and we are pretty obsessed with it. Okay, now the one that I'm the most excited for because this is gonna be the cute stuff, I hope. It's always so tricky when you're buying things online because you just, you just never know. It's like always kind of a risk, so we shall see. Okay, these are technically kitchen towels, and I will say the colors are very different than they looked online. Um, I'm thinking one of them I might be able to use for in here. If I can't, they'll obviously just go in the kitchen. These were what I was most excited about, the towels. So I wanted them to be either green or brown, some sort of like neutrally kind of color. Um, and I was really looking for ones with those hanging loops and couldn't find any. However, oh, these are huge, which that's good. <gasps> Wait, shut up. Oh, it has a tag on it. Okay, so I could hang it by the tag. Now it's not technically like a cute hanging loop, but I could maybe hang it by the tag if it'll go over the peg. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, I just liked the pattern. It's kind of, I don't know if it's gonna make the camera freak out or not. It's got like three different little tufts of color in it. This one's like a greeny brown, kind of like an olivey greeny brown. And then this one is more greeny blue. So it's like kind of a sea foamy and teal kind of thing. Um, but they're really good size, which is nice. We can get rid of these. Obviously I'm gonna wash them first, but I, I have to see what they look like on the wall, obviously. So this will be, the taller hook is gonna be boyfriend's hook so he can have the green one. Mine, okay, I don't want it to touch the trash can, so I think it'll be fine. Those are like so big and robust. I need to like wash them and take the tags off, but the color um, obviously goes so much more um, than those random ones that we had. They're just more neutral um, and they, it, it's not a big deal to me that they don't, um, that they're not the same color. I liked that they, they kind of match by their pattern. I am glad that you can see the pegs, cause that was my big thing was like, those pegs were so cute and then you couldn't actually see them. And then the last thing is, not this big, I hope. This is a dish soap dispenser. And I definitely like things that are like ceramic or like stone. I don't know if I mentioned or not, but like my other stuff, um, like the thing that I keep like makeup in and skincare in, um, they're both like heavier ceramic, maybe even concrete. I'm not totally sure what they're made out of. So I wanted something that was gonna give me a similar kind of vibe. And this, I think does. Now there was a lot of really pretty ones online and it's like so heavy, which is good. This is, I think they were calling it like beige marble, but it's heavy, like it feels, it feels very nice. I liked that it wasn't pure white because that's not something that I really like. This sticker is gonna give me hell, isn't it? Anyway, so I am just going to uh, transplant the soap into here and then hopefully it looks decent next to all my other stuff. It kind of has like a pinky tone that it kind of picks up from the from the countertop, so I like that. See how this is a big mess. I may have to put some of that in the drawer maybe. If I could find some space, clear some space and put some makeup in there because this is obviously not the cutest situation ever. Of me. Crazy. 
Okay, the final things are coming into place. We just got back from um, running an errand to Lowe's because I wanted to look at their plants that I'm gonna bring into here just to add some green um, and some life into the space. We do have one. I've had this guy for, I don't know how long now, at least a couple of years. And she's a little rough because <laughs> The cat likes to chew on her sometimes, but I love the pink pot. Um, and so I found a few from Lowe's that I really like. We have two that I'm really excited for. This one I saw and had to have because of the pink, like, what do you even call this? Like veining? Is there a word for that? Somebody, if you're into plants and you know the proper word for that, you can let me know. This is a Juanita. Her full name is Fetonia. Oh gosh, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. It's a low light um, plant from Peru. So I'll put that on there if you guys are interested in knowing like what kind she is. Um, and then I couldn't pass this up. I thought this was so pretty. Um, so I'll just find some space here on the countertop for her. Um, and so I'll probably put some more soil in here if I have some. I think, I thought I have a bag. I don't know if I actually do or not. And then this bad boy is so cool. This is a silver pothos. So I have a pothos in the living room, um, right like in the back corner. She's actually getting some sun right now, so that's good. So she's not gonna get much sun in here, but I can always like move her out if I need to. But she is like growing like crazily. She almost looks like she needs to be trimmed a little bit. We're gonna hang this back up with her in it, but I think I have to trim her first because she is, she is big. You can tell she's just been like sitting there and nobody was like trimming her. I have this um, that I think I'm gonna propagate some into. The cool thing is that I'll probably be able to get multiple plants out of her though. All right, before I can clean up the giant mess that I made, I'm gonna hang this guy. But I wanted a droopy plant and she's very much trailing. I might put something over the shower curtain. So almost kind of, like I could kind of encourage it to climb up honestly, and then eventually if one gets long enough, I can replace the fake ones with an actual one. That would be future goals for this one. We might replace this. This is, is it San Miguel, the chapel in New Mexico? Just gonna eyeball it like I usually do. John said we should keep the image of the church because it's like a holy moment, which I think is kind of funny too. All right, I think that is everything that I was gonna do except for this one little detail right here. So I have to figure out whatever I'm gonna do right here. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I am loving it so much more than it was before because it just feels, I don't know, it just feels so much nicer in here and I love that. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. It was literally six dollars, so... <laughs>